Hello everybody in YouTube land. Welcome back. This is Junie. Today we are going to be making um, some corned beef hash homemade. And so today I've got my Revere Wear um, square pan out. So this is what it looks like. It's just a square pan. It's pretty old. Um, so there's that. So what I'm going to do is take the lid off right now, put it to the side, and we are going to start cooking. If you could, if you've never been here before, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, now what a lot of people do, they like to get their pans really hot and put their oil in. So, so we are going to do that today. I am going to put that on medium high. And I am going, since we're gonna be doing some potatoes, I'm gonna need a little bit of oil. So I'm pretty much going to put a light coating on the bottom of this pan. And I, and I think that should be okay for what we need. I have my foster baby in here too. So if you hear him in the background, that's who that is. And that right little Bubba, you need another snack? You need another snack? Here goes, sweetheart. Mm, yeah. Are those good? You like those? Okay, so here I am back. Okay. So what I did is I pre-cooked a corned beef. Um, this was, I don't know, a couple months ago and I froze what we didn't eat. So I went ahead and diced it up along with a medium sized onion. So that's all in here. And that's gonna be the corned beef and onion mixture that I'm gonna put in there with the potatoes. Right now I am bringing the oil up to temperature. And once you notice uh, that the oil starts making waves, that means it's starting to get hot enough. Now, depending on what type of cookware you use will determine how long it takes. Now, this Revere Wear is, uh, I believe it's clad. So, it, it heats up pretty evenly and it's pretty nice. So, there's that. And over here, I already prepared all the, the food earlier, are some diced potatoes. I did four diced potatoes because this is going to make quite a bit of corned beef hash. This way, if the family wants to snack on it over the weekend, they can do that. So, hi little Bubba. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah. is that good? I'm giving little, little Bubba some uh, snacks. Bubba is not his name, but that is what I call him um, because for confidentiality reasons, if you're a foster parent. Now, some of this potatoes do, they do have some water, so you kind of have to be very careful when you put them in. You can dry your potatoes off a little better than I did, <laughs> so it doesn't do that. But this is real cooking, hopefully my phone is still working. <laughs> Um, I'm shooting this on my little iPhone. Oh, here we go. Can you see that? Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There you go. So that is four medium-sized potatoes that I just cubed up. And um, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some pepper. Put that on there. And I like to put the salt on towards the end. I don't like to put it on right now. But I do have my salt out, so that's there. Just regular salt and pepper. Whatever you have is what you use. Today I'm going to be using my Cajun spoon. So here's that. And uh, so yeah. So basically, you're just going to let it cook and then you're going to scoop it and move it in. So that way everything cooks evenly. And you're probably going to get some bits that are going to stick to the bottom. That's normal, don't worry about it. But all we're doing now is we're just browning the potatoes. And uh, since I'm a foster mom, I like to teach uh, my foster kids how to cook and how to do economical meals, how they can buy a piece of meat. If they don't use it all, make it into another dish, such as a soup, you know, casserole, 
uh, this, because this is basically leftovers. So, so there we go. We're just going to leave that there, and that's on medium high. Now, I also like to put garlic powder on my potatoes, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Got some garlic powder. I don't like to do too many different seasonings on this. Mostly just your basic garlic powder, salt and pepper. Um, you know, just depending on what I'd like to cook with that day. I just want to make this a nice simple meal. And I like the meat and stuff to speak for itself. Now I know some people don't like to move their potatoes around. I do because I feel it um, cooks the potatoes a little better for me. Because once you get them coated with the, the oil that was on the bottom, then it's less to stick to the pan. And the good thing is, is with this, um, this type of spoon, it's a Cajun spoon and it's got a flat bottom, so you can scrape the bottom a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to let that go for a while, and uh, this is going to be the longest part because everything else is, is so much easier to cook and clean, or not cook and clean, but to cook because it's already done. And uh, all my dishes are done for the night too, so everything's good. I'm waiting for another family member to get home. Well, but that's just that whole thing now. There you go. Take bites of it. Um, so, yeah. So this is life of a foster mom. Just cooking some food and uh, shooting a couple of these videos. I hope you guys like the videos. I now have like 720 subscribers. I mean, like, how awesome is that? Thank you, thank you for everybody who's out there that subscribed to my channel. And then... Normally I don't turn these that much. I just let them brown and then I'll turn them. But sometimes they will stick. So. so there we go. And I think I'm going to put a little bit more black pepper on there. Now, if you don't like garlic powder or black pepper or salt, you don't have to put that in there. Uh, the reason that I don't put the salt in right away is because um, the corned beef and stuff, when we made that, had came with a brine package, so that's kind of already salted. So that's why I don't want to add any more salt unless I think I really absolutely need it. Now, you can put thyme and rosemary in here. You can um, basically put any kind of spice you like in there that you think would go good with uh, corned beef. Um, I Like if I had a cabbage, I would slice up some cabbage and put it in here too and fry it up. That's just, that's just me and the way I cook. Um, so, so yeah, so this is it. And my family member is just now getting home. And they're going to help me with the baby. <laughs> and I think they like this meal, I hope. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> so. Okie dokie. Okay. So he's had some snacks and beverage. But he's good to go. Hi, Bubba. I know. You did such a good job for me. Okay. Well, I hope everybody's having a nice Friday night at their home. Uh, the oil that I used in here is just the basic vegetable lesson oil. Uh, nothing fancy, just oil. <laughs> if you want to do olive oil, you can do olive oil. You can do whatever you want. But this is what I have. This is what I'm going to do. And then after I'm done with this, I'll clean the stove and the kitchen up. 
I like to clean the kitchen every time I cook. Okay, now that the potatoes have been cooking for a little bit, they're not totally done, but that's okay. I like the, this is where I start adding in the corned beef and the onion. Um, what I do is I just kind of get them somewhat sauteed on a little bit of the sides, and then I start adding this in. Now I could have cut that onion a little smaller, but I did not do that. I'm just doing a, just, you know, whatever. <laughs> It'll cook down. So. And sometimes you may have to add a little more oil to the pan. I don't like to add tons of oil to my stuff. If you've ever watched my cooking shows, I try to, you know, not add as much fattening stuff or salt if I don't have to. Some dishes require it. Some, some dishes don't. Like this would have been good if I would have like heat that up a little better, but I didn't do that. Ford is working with what I got. <laughs> so, so now what I'm going to do is I am just going to put the lid on that, turn that on to medium, and just let it go for a while. And then it's going to be smelling good. It's already smelling good in the kitchen. So that's how you can make homemade corned beef and, um, hash. Um, let's see, what else can you do? You can add like cabbage to that, some peppers, onions, whatever you have left over in the fridge. This is basically clean out the pantry type of dish that you can do. Um, Cause I'm all about saving money and reusing foods and different dishes. But yeah, so this is corned beef and hash. And when you know this is done is when the potatoes are golden brown and they're fork tender and then it's done. Um, I just let it go and um, that's it, pretty much that. But other than that, I mean, it's just corned beef and hash. It's simple, it's easy, it's filling, and um, it's a very economical meal. So what's everybody out there doing in YouTube land? Where are you guys from? Where are you guys at in the world? So I'm in the Chicagoland area. So, hey. <laughs> so, other than that, it's been kind of rainy and nasty out. It's fall time here. Uh, the leaves are starting to fall and um, it's getting cold and windy. Hence the windy city of Chicago land. Okay, let me go ahead and check this real quick. Check that out. That's a good thing about having a nice little square skillet like this. If your grandmas have one of these and nobody's using it, you should snag it. I'm telling you, if you find one of these in a secondhand store, you need this skillet. You honestly need it. And then when this is done is, like I said, when the potatoes are pork tender, it does not take very long for those potatoes to get pork tender. And it will get nice and crispy. And I will come back with a, with a picture of that. But until then, you just cook it on medium until you get it to your desired likeness because the meat's already cooked. All you're doing now is cooking the the potatoes and the onions, just making it, you know, nice and supple for your dinner so it's nice and soft. And that way um, you can have a nice meal. Thank you for watching. This is Junie. I hope this helps you out. If you could like and subscribe, I'd very much appreciate it. And at this time, if you want to taste it and add some salt, you're more than welcome to do that in your dish. I already know this is kind of salty, so I'm going to save the salt for like, we can put it on our dish when it's done. But other than that, see you all soon. And if you could, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.